Back Weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. Now we are mainly quiet this morning, but we are watching a cold front that's sparking off a few showers and storms across portions of the area right now. We are quiet in Mayetta at our Prairie Band camera. We do have maybe just a little bit of some fog in some spots. You can see that hazy look around the parking lot lights this morning. We also have some of that low cloud cover and fog on our West Topeka camera as well. But elsewhere this morning, we do have some showers and storms, mainly in Jefferson County moving off to the east. We've also got a few showers bubbling up in Atchison County as well. But this right behind the banner here where you can see most of those showers and storms. That's where that cold front is this morning. It's already pushed through Concordia and we'll continue to see it moving off to the south and east. But here's a closer look at some of those showers and storms. Had a, some heavier rain moving through Oskaloosa just a little while ago. McLeod, you're getting some of that heavier rain right now. We'll continue to see that moving on off to the east. Just a few lightning strikes this morning, so you might hear some rumbles of thunder as well. And maybe some small hail embedded in there too. This really dark gray color indicating maybe some hail falling out of that storm this morning. So we'll continue to watch those as we go throughout the rest of the morning because we do have that potential for some of those storms to be on the stronger side if we can get them to develop just ahead of that cold front today. So here's your future track starting this at 730. You can see that cold front we've got this morning and we'll continue to watch that moving off to the south and east, bringing those rain chances with it and directly behind that front we should see our rain chances clearing out for us. We'll have uh, partly cloudy skies at least throughout this afternoon, maybe some clearing, some more clearing taking place in our northwestern county. So you may see a little bit more sun in places like Concordia, Clay Center, Marysville and Washington this morning. Elsewhere we might have a little bit more cloud cover to deal with today and then later on tonight that cold front will stall out just to the south of us and lift back up to the north as a warm front bringing with it a chance for some showers and storms again mainly south of I-70 through the overnight hours. Maybe some light rain showers working their way off to the north throughout the morning on Tuesday. This is at 930 a.m. and then we'll start to see that tapering off throughout the daytime Tuesday leaving us with quite a bit of cloud cover for your Tuesday, maybe a spotty rain chance heading into the evening before we start to dry on out for the middle part of the week. Now you can see that cold front already moving through Concordia where we have those northwesterly winds. Elsewhere, our winds are still out of the south and east this morning and we'll continue to see our winds shifting to the north and west as that cold front makes its way south. Temperatures are in the upper 60s and low 70s right now, but we will have a fairly slow day in terms of warming for us with that passage of the cold front. We'll probably only make it up into the mid to upper 70s this afternoon. Tonight we should be in the middle 60s with that extra cloud cover. It'll be kind of hard for us to cool off tonight. We'll have that chance for rain and then tomorrow our temperatures will be in the mid to upper 70s again. We will start to warm things up a little bit heading into the middle part of the week. So Wednesday and Thursday looks to warm up into the low to mid 80s for us. And then we have yet again another cold front coming through Thursday into Friday. That will knock our temperatures back into the upper 70s. We'll warm up slightly for this weekend, mainly into the middle 80s on Saturday. But then we do have another cold front coming through for the end of the weekend. Now this is Labor Day weekend coming up, so you might have to be aware of that on Sunday. We do have that chance for some rain, but our temperatures cool off a little bit on Sunday and actually wouldn't be surprised if we cooled off even further for actual Labor Day. This cold front does look pretty strong.